Okay. Three, two, one. Good afternoon. We are back to the Board of County Commissioners meeting after our recess. Uh, so it is 3.18 p.m. Uh, and we left off with department items. And so with our first item is item 4A from the auditor's office, the approval of the voucher list. Thank you, Madam Chair. I will cover um, this uh, item, Romero Chavez County Manager. Uh, this particular item on the uh, normal circumstances is a, your consent agenda where you will be approving a voucher list that includes many items uh, related to the operations of the county business. And this particular item has a, uh, uh, for the week of May 9th, 2022, which has a combined amount of $3,771,166.37. At the request of Commissioner Edwards, uh, he asked his staff that any, any, any voucher list that you may consider approving where it has an item related to the 3000 Pacific, the atrium, to bring this as a department item. And this is the case in this particular week. And uh, on page uh, 40 of this voucher list includes uh, an item related to the atrium at, a, uh, at an amount of $6,541.68. Questions, Commissioner Edwards? Uh, yes, uh, and that is uh, refunding that, that $6,000, is that right? All the uh, tenant improvements related to 3,000 Pacific are uh, covered by the Real Estate Excise Tax One, read one. Uh, my concern on this particular issue is that only half of the citizens uh, in Thurston County. There's about 150,000 that live in an unincorporated county and about 150,000 that live in the incorporated area of Thurston County. And this uh, several millions of dollars uh, towards this lease and upgrade are solely being paid for by the 150,000 citizens in unincorporated Thurston County. And, and that uh, among other concerns, I guess that does concern me. So uh, that is my reason for my objection for this today. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Menser. I don't have anything. Uh, point of clarification, Madam Chair. Go ahead, sir. Uh, the real estate excise tax one are, um, is a tax related to um, real estate transactions in the unincorporated areas of the county. There is not a tax imposed on all the citizens that live in the corporations over the county. So the transactions, uh, real estate transactions that are occurring in the unincorporated areas of the county are paid by uh, uh, members of the community that perhaps don't live in, in the county. Just want to clarify that uh, the, uh, this tax is not imposed on the citizens at large in the unincorporated, unincorporated area, uh, areas of the county. Point of clarification. Right. Thank you for that point of clarification. Thank you. With that, is there a motion? Move to approve the voucher list for the week of May 9th, 2022 for a combined amount of $3,771,166.37. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? No, ma'am. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Edwards? Uh, nay. Commissioner Menser? Aye. Commissioner Mejia? Aye. Next is Central Services, item 5A, Fairground Improvements. And Jason Ash, uh, Facility Service Manager, is here to present on this matter. Good afternoon, Commissioners. Jason Ash, Facilities Manager. As discussed this morning during the agenda setting, this is to approve a contract with MSGS using our on-call roster uh, for the design of the Fairgrounds Agriplex. I'm here if you have any further questions on this. Um, questions, uh, Commissioner uh, Edwards? Uh, no further questions at this point, ma'am. Uh, questions, Commissioner Menser? Nope, went through it this morning. Um, and then for any members of the public who would like to view, we had a very robust conversation about this matter this morning, um, and that was at the agenda setting at 9. Um, with that, I am ready for a motion. Move to approve Amendment 11 to Contract 025-2018-663-1043-000 with MSGS Architects PSC 
in the amount of 101,000, maximum amount of $101,456 plus tax and authorize the assistant county manager to execute the amendment and any future amendments that do not exceed 10%. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? No, ma'am. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Edwards? Aye. Commissioner Menser? Aye. Commissioner Mejia? Aye. Motion passes. Next from the commissioner's office is Thurston uh, County Keep Washington Working Policies and uh, Ramiro Chavez, our county manager, will report on this. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, uh, in 2019, the Washington State Legislature passed the Keep Washington Working Act, also known as the KWW, KWW. Uh, to establish the statewide practices regarding the enforcement of federal immigration laws by state and local agencies and provide improved support of economic opportunities for all Washingtonians regardless of the, their immigration or citizen status. The purpose of this policy is to assist judicial officers, courthouse personnel, law enforcement personnel, and local government officials in understanding and implementing policies consistent with uh, the Keep Washington Working Act and to help ensure that all residents, regardless of the citizen status, have uh, full access to the justice system. Thurston County personnel shall presume the federal immigration authorities are engaged in immigration enforcement. In addition, Thurston County adheres to all the requirements of the state law, including the Keep Washington Working Act, the courts open uh, to all act, also known as CODA, the Senate, uh, the substitute has built 2567 laws of 2020, 37 uh, Thurston County further adheres to all the Washington state court rules, including the general rule 38 open access courts. Uh, this particular policy, policy has been in the works with uh, all the, uh, the uh, justice partners uh, here in, in Thurston County, which includes the sheriff's office, superior court and district court. Um, have any questions you may have related to this matter? Questions, Commissioner Edwards? Uh, no questions at this time, thank you. Questions, Commissioner Menser? No questions. Okay, with that, I'm ready for a motion. Move to approve the Thurston County Keep Washington working policies. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? No, oh, ma'am. Oh. I would uh, just like to say that this is geared at immigration enforcement activities of the federal government that was targeting local courthouses and interfering with the administration of justice and local judicial systems. This was condemned by the Washington Supreme Court, Courts of Appeals, Superior Court of our county, District Court of our county. And it's taken us a long time to get these policies sorted through, but um, happy to see these things, changes made. <laughs> I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Edwards? Aye. Commissioner Menser? Aye. Commissioner Mejia? Aye. Next is from Community Planning and Economic Development and item 7A, contract for hearing examiner pro tem services and Jeremy Davis, operations manager is here to present on this matter. Good afternoon, Chair Mejia, commissioners. Jeremy Davis uh, with Community Planning and Economic Development. And today I'm here to request the Board of County Commissioners approve a professional services contract with Judge Stephen R. Shelton retired for hearing examiner pro tem services and to authorize the county manager to execute that contract, including a one year extension at the end. Um, the contract is currently uh, scheduled to be to go through December 31st, 2025. The contract award was subject to a request for proposal solicitation. Funding for the contracted services will be fee for service and secured from development and other fees obtained to the public review process for development applications. Um, should other duties be assigned to the hearing examiner, we would look for other funding to fund that than development permit fees. This contract further strategic plan initiative number seven, which is balancing development with the preservation of the county's rural character, natural areas and open spaces. I would also note that Judge Shelton served as hearing examiner pro tem for Thurston County last year in working with Stephen Casso of McCarthy and Casso, who previously served as our hearing examiner pro tem. So he does have some experience in Thurston County hearing our cases and familiarity with our land use code. And I'd be happy to answer any questions the board may have. 
Questions, Commissioner Edwards? Uh, no questions at this time, thank you. Questions, Commissioner Menser? No. Okay, I'm ready for a motion. I move to approve a professional services contract with Judge Stephen R. Shelton, retired, for hearing examiner pro tem services through December 31st, 2025, and authorize the county manager to sign the contract, including one one-year extension. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? No, ma'am. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Edwards? Aye. Commissioner Menser? Aye. Commissioner Mejia? Aye. Motion passes. Next, uh, from emergency services, item 8A, active shooter incident management basic train the trainer course. And Ben Miller Todd, uh, our interim, is it an interim? Yeah. Yes. Services. Uh, interim assistant director. Interim uh, assistant, okay, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, I'll just briefly get to it. Uh, what we're asking for is the funding for a course that's designed to train and certify up to 10 law enforcement, fire, and EMS professionals throughout the county. 10 of those would be instructors, and then we'd have another 70 law enforcement providers, as well as 45 fire uh, and EMS personnel on how to utilize or how to manage active shooter, or active mobile threat events. Um, with that being said, the goal of the course is to manage, uh, the goal of the course is to enhance police, fire, and EMS op interoperability during a mass casualty event uh, caused by an active shooter scenario or an active threat. Uh, funds are already appropriated in 2022's budget from the fiscal year 19 SHSP or State Homeland Security Program Region 3 Training Grant uh, and, is in, and is supported by the Thurston County Fire Chiefs Association as well. Um, if you have any further questions, Please let me know. Thank you. Questions, Commissioner Edwards? Uh, no questions. Nope. Thank you. Question? Okay. Uh, I'm ready for a motion. Move to approve the contract with C3 Pathways Inc. for delivery of the active shooter incident management basic train the trainer course for Thurston County law enforcement, firefighters, and Homeland Security Region 3 partners in the amount of $17,991 and authorize the Interim Director of Emergency Services to sign the contract, including any amendments that do not exceed 10%. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing, I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Edwards? Aye. Commissioner Menser? Aye. Commissioner Mejia? Aye. Motion passes. Next is item 8B, amendment to Thurston County 21 EMPG-ARPA. E22-238-1. And Ben, I'll pass it back to you. Okay. Thank you very much, Commissioner. Um, just to give you an overview, Thurston County Emergency Management was allocated an additional $10,055 of EMPG ARP funds. The scope of this work that would be included would be the purchasing of an out up updating our badge printer uh, for volunteer management, uh, contracting to automate our duty officer information and contracts manual, as well as purchasing two new portable uh, projectors and a mobile sound system for the public outreach program in use uh, at the expo. Um, there is a 100% match on the grant, but that will be met with our time uh, on policy uh, formation, developing and training our ECC contact lists, job aids, and procedures. Uh, the original grant amount was for 43978 and the amended grant amount would be for $54,033. Uh, and this is also included in the, the current budget. If you have any questions, let me know. Questions, Commissioner Edwards? Uh, no questions, thank you. Questions, Commissioner Menser? No. Okay, with that, I'm ready for a motion. Move to approve contract amendment to federal fiscal year 2021 emergency management performance grant, American Rescue Plan Act 21 EMPG ARPA, number E22-238 for the period of June 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2022 for a total of $10,055 and authorize the interim assistant director of emergency services to sign the agreement as well as future amendments that do not change the approved dollar amount by more than 10%. Second. Moved and seconded. I have a clarification. On item eight, it said interim director, and on this one it says interim assistant. For consistency basis. It'd be interim director is straightforward. Okay. 
So do I have to, do we have to amend the motion? It's a tiny just thing. To, uh, yeah. I'll just withdraw the motion, Madam yeah. Chair, with your yes. permission and restate. I'll move to approve contract amendment to federal fiscal year 2021 emergency management performance grant, American Rescue Plan Act 21 EMPG ARPA number E22238 for the period of June 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2022 for a total of $10,055 and authorize the interim director of emergency services to sign the agreement as well as future amendments that do not change the approved dollar amount by more than 10%. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? No, oh, ma'am. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Edwards? Aye. Commissioner Menser? Aye. Commissioner Mejia? Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Next is public defense, item 9A, approval of a contract with the State of Washington Office of Public Defense. And Patrick O'Connor, public defense director, is here. Patrick? Good afternoon, Commissioners. Patrick O'Connor, Director of Thurston County Public Defense. I'm before the board today uh, to ask the board to approve a contract uh, between the State Office of Public Defense and Thurston County Public Defense for representations of uh, indigent adults facing dependency and termination proceedings. Our office provides direct representations uh, for individuals um, that are facing such proceedings. The contract uh, before, uh, before the board is uh, starting in July 1st of 2022 uh, through June 30th of 2023. And I'd ask the board to authorize me as the director of Thurston County Public Defense uh, to execute that contract with state OPD. The dollar amounts not to exceed $172,908. Questions, Commissioner Edwards? Uh, no questions, thank you. Questions, Commissioner Menser? No. And I don't have any questions. And this item was discussed, was it last week? Last Tuesday at agenda setting. Um, okay, with that, I'm ready for a motion. I move to approve the contract with the State of Washington Office of Public Defense for adult indigent dependency and termination defense legal work in Thurston County Family Juvenile Court from July 1st, 2022 through June 30th, 2023 and authorize the Director of Public Defense to sign the contract. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? No, ma'am. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Edwards? Aye. Commissioner Menser? Aye. Commissioner Mejia? Aye. Motion passes. Next, thank you. We, thank you. Next, we have items from Public Health and Social Services. We'll start with item 10A, approval of interlocal agreements for specialized recreation services. And Margaret Bagley is here for rec uh, the Recreation Supervisor. Margaret, go ahead. Good afternoon, Commissioners. I'm Margaret Bagley with Thurston County Public Health and Social Services. I oversee the Specialized Recreation Program within the department. And I am here to request uh, your approval to sign three or have the interim Director of Public Health and Social Services sign three separate interlocal agreements between Thurston County and the City of Olympia the city of Lacey and the city of Tumwater. The city of Olympia, we are requesting a, uh, an amount of $13,720. Lacey is $8,377. And the city of Tumwater is $2,125 to provide uh, specialized recreation services for their uh, constituents for a duration of May 1st, 2022 through December 31st, 2024. The Specialized Recreation Program is unique within our county. We offer year-round programming for adults with and without developmental disabilities, offering uh, robust program offerings of dances, social activities, movie and pizza, and trips throughout our community for folks to get out, make friends, and enjoy uh, what the community offers. I'm happy to answer any questions if you have them. Questions, Commissioner Edwards? Uh I don't have any questions for Margaret, but just thank you for making these folks' lives better. Thank, thank you. you. Questions, Commissioner Menser? No questions. Nope. Uh, if you want to learn more about that program, Margaret and I did a Thurston County Connections program about it a couple That's years ago. Great. That was a lot of fun. And I'm sure you can still find that on our, on our county website. With that, I'm ready for a motion. I move to approve interlocal agreements with the City of Olympia for the annual amount of 
$20, City of Lacey for the annual amount of $8,377, and the City of Tumwater for the annual amount of $2,125. For the duration of May 1st, 2022 through December 31st, 2024, to provide specialized recreation services to individuals with developmental disabilities and authorize the Interim Director of Public Health and Social Services to sign the agreements and any future amendments that do not revise the approved dollar amounts or durations by, uh, by more than 10%. Second. It's removed and seconded. Any discussion? I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Edwards? Aye. Commissioner Menser? Aye. Commissioner Mejia? Aye. Motion passes. Next is item 10B, Department of Social uh, Health Services Developmental Disabilities Administration County Program Agreement with Thurston County. Mark Moffitt, Community Program Manager, is here to present on this matter. Mark. Good afternoon, Commissioners. I'm Mark Moffitt, Public Health and Social Services. Um, before you today is amendment number one to our Development of Disabilities Administration Program Agreement. Uh, which provides an additional $5,704,255 for a revised total maximum amount of $11,229,653 and extends the end date to June 30th, 2023. This is a renewal of a program agreement we have what we, we receive annually with the Development of Disabilities Administration. The County Development of Disabilities program uses these funds to provide services for adults uh, with development of disabilities in Thurston and Mason counties in employment services, community inclusion, high school transition programs, as well as providing uh, information and training to the public. Questions, Commissioner Edwards. Uh, no questions, thank you, Mark. <clears throat> questions, Commissioner Renser. Um, okay, that, I'm ready for a motion. Move to approve amendment number one to the DSHS Developmental Disabilities Administration County Program Agreement number 21632188 for the revised agreement amount of $11,229,653 for the period of July 1st, 2022 to June 30th, 2023 and authorize the Director of Public Health and Social Services to sign this agreement and future amendments that do not change this approved dollar amount or duration by more than 10% and I'm gonna just add, uh, authorize the Interim Director Public Health and Social Services, just to make that clear. Thank you. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Edwards? Aye. Commissioner Menser? Aye. Commissioner Mejia? Aye. Aye. On our last page, commissioners. <laughs> okay, item C. Treasury Rent Assistance Contract with Live Stories. Thomas Webster, Senior Program Manager, will present on this matter. Thomas. Good afternoon, Commissioners. Tom Webster with Public Health and Social Services. So I have two items for you, so I'll take them separately and try to keep them clearly distinguished. Um, so for this item, we're asking for your approval to issue a contract with an organization, Giaco, also does business as Live Stories for total contract value up to $1.7 million for rent and utility assistance. This is funding that the county received directly from the Department of Treasury under the TRAP2 program. We received approximately $6.9 million. These funds were originally contracted with the Community Action Council of Lewis, Mason, and Thurston counties. With the suspension of that contract, um, this is the money that was not spent under that contract that CAC has returned to the county. So we are looking to reallocate those funds and contract with Live Stories. Um, to implement rent and utility assistance with our direct treasury dollars under the treasury rental assistance program. I'm happy to answer any questions you have about this, this action item. Questions, Commissioner Edwards. Uh, no questions. We've had many discussions about this topic. Thank you, Doug. Thank you. No. Okay, I'm ready for a motion. <clears throat> I move to approve a contract with Giaco Inc. DBA Live Stories for a total contract value up to $1,700,000 to deliver rent utility assistance programs for Thurston County funded through the U.S. Department of Treasury Emergency Rent Assistance Program funding and authorize the county manager to sign the contracts and any amendments that do not exceed 10%. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? No, ma'am. Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Edwards? Aye. Commissioner Menser? Aye. Commissioner Mejia? Aye. 
Motion passes. Next item 10D, amendment to life stories for an assistance contract and Thomas Webster, senior program manager will also report on this one. All right, um, good afternoon again. Um, so on this item, we received also under the Treasury Rent Assistance Program, we received allocation via the Washington State Department of Commerce. With that, we received a contract of just over $12 million um, from the Department of Commerce. We issued that contract also to Community Action Council of Lewis, Mason, and Thurston County. When that contract was suspended, we used available funding under that contract to contract with Giaco or Live Stories to initiate the rent assistance program. That existing contract is for $5 million. There remains additional funding um, that we're receiving um, that's unspent under the CAC contract. That is up to $2.2 million. So we're asking you to amend the existing contract with Live Stories um, to add up to $2.2 million to that contract for total contract value of up to $7.2 million. Um, and happy to answer any questions about this action item. Questions, Commissioner Edwards? Uh, no questions. Commissioner Munzer? Okay, is there a motion? Move to approve a contract amendment with Chiaco Inc. DBA Live Stories increasing the contract value by up to $2,200,000 to deliver rent and utility assistance programs for Thurston County funded through the Washington State Department of Commerce with US Department of Treasury Emergency Rent Assistance Program funding and authorize the county manager to sign the contracts and any amendments that do not exceed 10%. Second. Any discussion? No, ma'am. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Edwards? Aye. Commissioner Menser? Aye. Commissioner Mejia? Aye. Motion passes. Next, we'll Thank go you. to Public Works. Item 11A, resolution vacating unopened rights of way in the plat of Boston Harbor. And Craig Sisson is here, Real Estate Service Manager. Craig? You're on mute. Craig, you're on mute. Sorry about that. Thanks. Craig Sisson, Real Estate Services Manager, Public Works. On November, on November 10th, 2020, a public hearing was held on the vacation of those portions of county rights of way known as unopened 69th Avenue, platted 7th Avenue South, lying south of Block 59, and a portion in the alley of Block 59 in the plat of Boston Harbor. These rights of way were dedicated to Thurston County by a plot re by plat recorded under auditor's file number 38315 on October 24th, 1907, and have never been opened or used by the public. In addition to increasing the tax base, this vacation will benefit Thurston County by relinquishing their responsibility for recording, for record keeping and liability for this area, which has reportedly become a site for illegal refuse disposal and illicit activities. The hearing examiner concurs that the vacation request satisfies all applicable criteria and a hearing and hearing no testimony in opposition to the application recommends that the board of the county commissioners approve the requested vacation subject to payment of compensation as appraised in the amount of $3,724. The board of county commissioners adopted the hearing examiner recommendation for approval by resolution number 15981 subject to payment of compensation consistent with Thurston County Code 1336030. This condition has been met. This road vacation is in alignment with the county strategic plan and initiative eight to support robust and well-maintained infrastructure systems for a thriving community. I have nothing further. Thank you. Questions, Commissioner Edwards? Uh, no further questions, thank you. Commissioner Menser? I've gone through this one. Okay, I, um, I'm ready for a motion. Move to approve a resolution vacating portions of right, rights of way known as 69th Avenue Northeast and an alley in Block 59 in the plat of Boston Harbor as outlined in the hearing examiner's recommendation subject to paying compensation as appraised in the amount of $3,724. Is there a second? So moved and seconded. Uh, any discussion? I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Edwards? Aye. Commissioner Menser? Aye. Commissioner Mejia? Aye. Motion passes. Next is 11B, quick claim deed to Lampburg LLC for parcel number 145113330200. And Craig Sisson, our real estate service manager, will present on this matter. Thank you, commissioners. Again, Craig Sisson, real estate services manager of Public Works. 
1905, Thurston County purchased land now known as Thurston County parcel number 145-1133-0200 from Jonas and Mary Erickson for $50 to use as a gravel pit for local road projects. The deed from the Ericsons included a reversionary clause that stated that if the county ceased using the pit site for gravel removal, then the property would revert back to the grantors. A descendant of the original grantor and current owner of the original property, Dick Erickson, requested the county transfer the property back to him as it was no longer being used as a gravel pit. After researching public works records, it was confirmed that the site is no longer being used as a gravel pit and public works determined that the department has no anticipated future need for the property. Pursuant to the reversionary language contained in the original acquisition deed, public works is asking the Board of County Commissioners to sign the quick claim deed and release the county's interest in the property. This action is in alignment with the county's strategic plan initiative 14 to strengthen sound financial practices. I have nothing further. Thank you. Questions, Commissioner Edwards? Uh, no questions, thank you. Questions, Commissioner Menser? No questions. I'm ready for a motion. Move to approve a quick claim deed for Thurston County parcel number 14511-330200 in favor of Lamp Brook LLC pursuant to the reversionary clause contained in the acquisition deed signed in 1905. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Commissioner Edwards? Commissioner Munzer? Um, just say that citizens often come with interesting uh, ideas or requests and you can't always follow them through the way you'd like to. This one just turned out to be exactly as the citizen described and I'm happy we were able to sort of go through the process and make this right. So that's all I want to say. This was one of the interesting ones where uh, just, it was it was just kind of a, a weird thing. So it was great that, you know, this is now being resolved. Okay, uh, with that, I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Edwards? Aye. Commissioner Menser? Aye. Commissioner Mejia? Aye. <clears throat> that concludes um, our department items. Next, we'll move on to our sending items. Item 12A, commissioners will report on board work sessions and assigned committee meetings, providing updates on actions taken as well as upcoming issues. Commissioner Edwards, we'll start with you. Uh, a lodging tax advisory committee meeting where we dispersed some money for uh, economic development. Fire commissioners meeting, emergency management, the uh, EMS council. Steady with my seatmates on uh, the Squally River Council and the Splash Bash in Tenino, trying to raise money to help with their uh, pool program. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Menser? Um, Wasac uh, Virtual Assembly Splash Bash Auction with Commissioner Edwards, uh, preparation meetings for Salmon Recovery Council this week, the Thurston County Public Works Rodeo that I talked about earlier, which was really uh, cool. Uh, met with a some, uh, number of citizen recreation groups who are worried about unauthorized shooting in Capitol State Forest. Folks that are trail runners, mountain bikers, um, are seeing increased um, uh, firearm shooting, target shooting in unauthorized zones where there's been clear cuts. So they wanted to brainstorm about how that could be managed better. Attended the study meeting, as did my seatmates. Attended the Thurston Chamber annual meeting. And more work on legacy forests and, and DNR. Um, and there'll be more to come on that on Friday. Thank you. Um, I attended uh, the Olympia Kiwanis General uh, meeting uh, where they uh, had the, um, I was a guest and they also had the um, interim director for Evergreen, or interim president for Evergreen State College, and, and he gave us a really great presentation. I attended the study meeting, same as uh, my colleagues. Uh, I attended the RHC executive meeting, and we'll be having a meeting uh, tomorrow on that. The three cities plus county meeting, um, where we hosted the mayor's uh, here in our boardroom. I did a Port of Olympia tour with our county manager. Uh, so thank you to Sam Gibney for uh, being very welcoming to, to us. I also did the lot draw for the auditor's office and that was great to see how all of 
you know, electioneering works and, and, and that process. I did a coffee with a commissioner uh, down in Sandstone uh, Cafe in Tenino. I attended the Tamers annual meeting uh, as well as the inner city transit meeting. Um, a couple of weeks ago when I attended the Wasac board of directors meeting, I uh, got roped into attending uh, another committee. And so I'm now part of the, uh, which is part of the Senate Bill 5490 Interbranch Advisory Committee, which is, um, was built basically to have better working relationships between the administrative office of the courts, as well as the counties and getting those priority straight. So I'll be serving on that as well as Justice Stephen Gonzalez and uh, some legislators. So uh, I'm excited to see from that. I did not necessarily need another committee, but um, I'm excited to, to hopefully see what comes from that. Uh, that is all I have to report. Next, item 12B, the county manager will review the Board of County Commissioner schedule for the week of May 24th, 2022. Thank you, Madam Chair. Considering the next uh, week's meeting on uh, Tuesday, uh, May 31st, the Board of County Commissioners have been canceled. I'm gonna walk you through the, uh, your combined schedule for the next two weeks, if you may. Um, where at least two commissioners will be present. Um, you may have individual appointments on your individual calendars. Those will not be part of my report. Nothing for the remainder of the day today, uh, Wednesday, May 25th, tomorrow. At nine in the morning, you have a, a budget amendment number one, uh, hearing and decision-making process. <clears throat> Two in the afternoon, you have a briefing related to the illicit discharge detection and elimination code, uh, and that will be an update of Thurston County Code Chapter 15.07. <clears throat> also, three in the afternoon tomorrow, you have a briefing follow-up related to lakes funding and allocation overview. On Friday, May 27th, uh, you, you have a, a day-long commissioner's planning session uh, from 10 in the morning to 3.30 in the afternoon, including lunch. Will, the lunch will be a working lunch, and the agenda will be posted um, 24 hours in advance. Uh, Monday, May 30th, um, uh, the uh, courthouse campus is, and the courthouse is, uh, the county is closed uh, in observance to the Memorial Day holiday. Tuesday, May 31st, 9 in the morning, you have your regular agenda setting where you will, where you will be reviewing the agenda for, for Tuesday, June 7th. Wednesday, June 1st, you have uh, nine, uh, 10 in the morning, uh, the Solid Voice Advisory Committee uh, annual meeting, well, th they will be reporting some of their activities. 10.30 on June 1st, uh, you have uh, the opportunity to welcome new employees to county government. Uh, one in the afternoon, June 1st, you have a briefing related to the development services, uh, the Masama Pocket Gopher annual review presentation. And uh, 1.30 in the afternoon, you have the state of the water and sewer utilities. Uh, at 2.30 in the afternoon, you have a briefing, uh, really a follow-up briefing to the Nisqually Broadband uh, application that is due at the end of uh, June. And then you have been invited to participate at the uh, at 3 in the afternoon, so it will be a very tight schedule, to the Experience Olympia and Beyond annual meeting which that will be located on the Indian Summer Golf and Country Club, located at 5900 Troon Lane, Southeast in Olympia. Thursday, June 2nd, um, at nine in the morning, you have a briefing related to the IT information technology cloud strategy. Nine, followed by at 9.30, uh, sales, salesman uh, uh, treatment sales tax 2021 annual report. Then at 10 in the morning on Thursday, June 2nd, you have, you have your regular commissioners check in. At noon, you have been invited to participate on the racial equity lunch and learn series. Two in the afternoon on June 2nd, you have a briefing related to the Thurston Public Utility District broadband survey. Uh, Thursday, June 2nd at 2.30, you have a follow-up on the pop-up uh, temporary food permits that you had this morning. So that is the schedule for next week. Friday, June 3rd, at 8 in the morning, you have the regional, uh, the Thurston Regional Planning Council. Um, I believe uh, Commissioner Edwards is the one who attends that. I'm not sure if I know that commissioner is going to be filling in for you or not. That is why it's in the master calendar. 
Uh, Monday, June 6th, you have your standing uh, Washington State Association of Counties virtual assembly at noon. And at five in the afternoon, you have the uh, executive seminar for, uh, for elected officials. And that will be the first uh, executive seminar in person that was going to be held in the last two and a half years, which is located in Thurston County Emergency Services, uh, located at 9521 Tilde Road, south, uh, southwest in Olympia. And then come back on Tuesday, June 7th, on your uh, standing agenda setting at 9 in the morning. Any questions? Looks like Commissioner Edwards and I have a rescheduled BHASO meeting on June 6th, June 6th at 1 o'clock. That's just showing on my calendar. Usually it's on Thursday. I don't know why it's on a Monday, but probably got rescheduled. Okay, I, I don't have that, so but I'll, I'll, we'll add it to the master calendar. Thank you. I Commissioner Edwards, questions? Oh. I have one for June 1st. You mentioned the SWAC meeting. That's one of my committee meetings, so I'm, I'm wondering. It's Solid Waste Advisory Committee, and yeah. I don't know if, um, if this is the annual meeting presentation from the SWAC to the board. I don't think so. I think it's just a regular. So I'm wondering if uh, oh, our commissioner is going to be filling up for you, no? No. no. Okay, no. so we'll take that out of the the master calendar. Thank you for the clarification. Yeah, I, I'm looking at it, and it's just an invitation from Amanda, so I, I don't think it's, it's. Okay, thank you. One other clarification tomorrow. Uh, I will be only able to attend the first chunk of the illicit discharge at 2 o'clock. I have a 2.30 Zoom I have to take, and I should be done at 3 for the um, lakes issue. Okay, thank you. Okay, with that, this 4 p.m., we are adjourned. <laughs>